can't believe I have to make a video like this for you guys, but whatever. All right, we're gonna go. First things first, here's a little video to, I guess, show you how to clip things with OBS versus with Twitch, okay? Uh, th this is something you do offline or live, uh, but you have to have OBS going and you have to have replay buffer on and running. So first things first, you wanna launch your OBS. All right, so it should look something like this, something similar to this. Okay, and the first step is audio. So go to settings, go to your audio tab, disable all of this. Okay, you're not gonna need this. This is gonna be something that we're gonna set manually within OBS sources. The K rate, everything like that for meters, set the same, advanced for monitoring, set that to your actual headphones, uh, and then you can, you can disable or enable ducking, it doesn't matter. Once that's disabled, okay, go ahead and click okay. Go down here, right click, add, do your audio input and output. Your audio for your desktop should be the one that you have selected at the bottom. So for me, that's this one here. So I got system for the GoXLR, selected as my main source of audio. So that right there is gonna be set for the desktop audio. Now's when you separate them. So within OBS, go to the meters, right click, go to advanced audio properties, and this is where things get kind of funny. Track number one, we're gonna have set to Twitch. That is going to go straight to Twitch. It's not going to mess with anything with the recording wise. So you want your alerts, you want your mic, your desktop, everything going to track one. Everything else, unselect. For your desktop audio, okay, set that to track one and track two, meaning that track one is going to be sent to Twitch and track two is going to be saved for the recording. Discord, same thing. You want one going to Twitch and you want four being recorded. So you're going to come up as separate audio tracks in Premiere. And same thing that goes for the mic, anything else that you want saved in the recording. If you can't separate audio tracks okay so like let's just say you can't set discord to one all right so for me like i know with the go xlr which if you want to copy my settings later i can show this up, put this up on screen i can tie certain certain sources of sound to a select um input and output within within windows if you can't do that that's fine set everything to, to track one and set your uh microphone to track one and three and set your desktop audio to track one and two that'll work too uh, after that's done, click close. Now comes the fun part, settings. Once you're in settings, go to output. Uh, under the streaming tab, don't touch anything. Literally don't touch anything, okay? Track one, audio track, it's gonna be the one that you're gonna use for Twitch, okay? And that's all you're gonna click for streaming. Whatever you have set for streaming, don't touch. Okay, that, that, that's, we're not gonna monkey with that. Go to replay buffer, enable it, and set it to 60 seconds. This is about the same amount of time that like a Twitch clip is. So you, that's gonna be one to one at that point. Plus it'll ensure that, you know, whatever you have set for gameplay is the last 60 seconds. You can set this to wherever you want, but this takes up RAM. So if you've got a lot of RAM, make it higher if you want. If you don't have a lot of RAM, 60 seconds is plenty. Go to the recording tab. This is where you're going to set your audio tracks between the ones you selected earlier. Okay, so if you had tracks one through three selected, you're going to select audio track one, two, and three. Okay, being that I have four, being one for the mix, two being for the desktop, three being for my microphone, and then four being for Discord. Uh, I have tracks one through four. Uh, encoder, make sure that's set to your end bank. Uh, don't rescale output. Your bit rate. Um, yeah, that's gonna seem kind of high, but being that for 1080p, 60fps for you COD degenerates, um, yeah, you're gonna want that set to about 18,000, but that's unrealistic. Like, just just set to 15,000, that, that's plenty for what we're doing here. So once that's all set, we gotta, we gotta hotkey that, right? So we go down to hotkeys, scroll down to where you see replay buffer. This is gonna be the key that you click to save the last 60 seconds or whatever you put in that box for the number of gameplay. So I have my key set to the pause key. You can set yours the same, doesn't matter. This is gonna be a key that you click to save the last however much of footage of gameplay. Audio, um, I would set all of these the same if you don't have a high-end PC. If you have kind of like a lower end PC or a mid range PC, just set them to 160 across the board. That's plenty for what Twitch needs. Now you're gonna go down to the advanced tab. So under the advanced tab, scroll down here to recording. Don't touch the file name formatting. That's that's just a, a standard. I mean, you don't need to monkey with that. Uh, make sure overwrite file overwrite if file exists unchecked. Make sure automatically remux is unchecked. And then under the replay buffer file name prefix, this is gonna be what the file name is named in front of the font name formatting. So that's just your, your year, month, day, hour, minute, second. That, again, you don't have to change that. So this name is gonna be the name that we editors are going to be looking at when we're pulling your files. And granted, this is all gonna be MKV format, which again, I think Windows is able to run that. Um, 
without like any downloads or anything like that. But once you're done with that, click OK, you're set. Now, before you start clipping things, keep in mind, replay buffer has to be going. So make sure you click that before you go live. We should have no problem with, with being able to clip things. When you click the key, at the bottom left, there's going to be a thing that pops up. Replay buffer save to. That's how you know that it just saved the past 60 seconds of gameplay. Once that's done, it's going to pop up as a file in MKV format. Now, when you're watching this, you'll notice if you don't hear your audio or if it just sounds kind of wonky, you click this and you select which audio track you're going to listen to. So being that Twitch was set to number one, number one is going to have everything. OK, so we set everything, all the audio tracks to track one. So they're all going to come up through track one. And in Premiere, you'll see it looks kind of like this. So you have your, your baseline desktop audio, you have your mic SM58, and then you have your Discord audio. Okay, being Discord's not running, it's there's gonna be nothing there. But that's how it shows up for us. Don't worry about remuxing. Uh, for you editors out there, um, what you're gonna wanna do when they send you the MKV files, you're gonna go to OBS, click file, remux recordings. That's where you're going to select which recording you want to remux. So I'm just gonna do this one because we just did this one. Click open and click remux. What that does is it remuxes that same MK, MKV file into an MP4. That is the file that you drag into Premiere or whatever editing software you're using. You don't need the MKV file anymore. You can delete it. And I know I said earlier uh, that I'd show you the GoXLR settings. So the routing, this allows me to separate the tracks into separate audio sources. If you want to do it this way, you can. At that point, it's just a matter of going to the mixer and changing things around. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, go ahead and forward them to Niles uh, in the Discord. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, and if you if you want, you can always DM me so I can help you with it. Um, until next time.